Hello class, my name is Yanfa, your substitute professor for today. Old man grew a couple more eyes than he should. In the previous lecture, we learned how poison gems interact with rolls, and how each roll steal the amount of poison slotted in your right hand weapon. Today we are going to learn about some of the quirks of poison rolling, mainly poison tanks. The Undead Giant has 180 Rapid Poison resistance, and your rolls do 9.6 Rapid Poison buildup. At a glance, you may conclude that 19 rolls should be enough to poison the enemy. In reality, the number of rolls needed is closer to 42. This is because of a mechanic called Poison Tax. Before we talk about what Poison Tax is, we first need to learn about the Poison Decay Constant. As we've learned in the previous lecture, Poison only works when the buildup is greater than the resistance, and more importantly, the buildup decays over time. The amount of decay is constant regardless of your total poison resistance. Hence, we call the amount of poison decay per second the poison decay constant. The total amount of poison is poison gems times rolls minus poison decay times time total. To simplify the equation, we then break down the total amount of time into time taken for one roll times the number of rolls. By breaking down the equation, we now have this value, which is the poison decayed during one roll. We call this value poison tax. After this, we can simplify the equation and divide both sides to get the final equation for the total amount of rolls needed. Let's apply this to the previous formula. Since we know the enemy's rapid poison resistance, amount of rapid poison we do per roll, and the total amount of rolls required, we can calculate the poison tax of 5.4. The same formula also works with slow poison. Notice that the poison tax value is slightly different. This is because unlike the poison decay constant, poison tax is affected by the time taken for one roll. So if your rolls take a shorter amount of time, for instance using an undead hunter bone, or takes longer, for instance time wasted during dodging or healing, the poison tax value will be different. Since the poison tax reduces the denominator, we can see drastically different results, especially with lower tier gems. If your poison gem has a lower value than the poison tax, you cannot poison an enemy ever, no matter how many times you roll. You can find a more mathematically accurate formula below. Even if the poison gem value is higher, you'll still see drastically different results between gems. For instance, if we had a 14.4 slow poison gem instead of 7.2, we will need 6 times less rolls. For your next assignment, you will each be assigned to get a poison gem setup that has 10 or higher. Your weapons have a total of 3 gem slots, so get creative. You'll need to borrow an eye rune from Master Wilm. He's probably staring at the lake again, so try not to bother him too much. Thank you all, and I hope we can see each other after this beast outbreak ends. 